right, so good to be back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Setson. Today, I want to talk about pointers in C, an important concept to understand because this is going to be the building block for linked lists in C. Right, so what is a pointer? So let's say we have a variable here called A and another variable here called B. What the computer does, it reserves some space in memory. Your memory has got addresses. So this could be on 0x3f and this one could be on 0x3b. To make A a pointer, it has to point to this address right here. What that means, it, it has to store this address here. So in its value, you have to pass in 0x3b. This makes this A a pointer to B. It's pointing to the location of B. Maybe in B, you have a value of 20 right here, which is the actual data stored on this location. So let's try and create this in, in actual code and see how this works. I'm going to create a file right here called pointer dot c let me hash include standard io dot h which is the input output header and then int main then int arg c then sharp pointer arg v this is an argument vector right we can try here and then right here we can return as zero okay so this is our main function this is the entry into our c program it's also the exit from our C program. I want to create two variables. I'm going to start by creating B. So int B, this has got a value of 20, like we have on our illustration right here. Variable B with a value of 20, of which is an int. Okay, to get the address of variable B, we use an operator called the address of address of operator. That address of operator is an ampersand. Just want to show you the address of B is we use the p pointer p slash n we use ampersand plus the name of the the variable so b in this case we're trying to get the address of b so this is the address of b okay so with this done i'm going to exit this gcc and we output this as point of course we are using pointers dot c run this and there we have an executable code point run that you can see the address of b is 0x7 fff and a whole bunch of other numbers you should understand that addresses in your computer are hexadecimal so these are hexadecimal values now we can create this variable here a which is going to point to b all right so to store the address of in a variable we need to use the asterisk then we can use the address of operator as a value for that variable so since we are pointing to an integer value we use int then asterisk and then the name of our variable which is a then we can say and b which is ampersand b this here creates a pointer this is how you create a pointer so on declaration when you declare a variable if you use an asterisk like this it simply means it's a pointer you are telling the computer that this location is going to store another location we can check this out uh, duplicate this and say the address of b i'm going to use a this time because a uh, contains the address of b right so let me just print this out so these two should give me the same value so let me see if this is going to work recompile and run that you can see these two are similar let's say i want access to this value is it possible to access this value through this pointer right here yes it's possible how do we do that so i can I place this down here and say right here the value of b is percent d but i'm not going to use the variable b i'm going to use the asterisk a when you use this asterisk on declaration like this is going to create a pointer variable like i said but when you use it anywhere else apart from the declaration then you are doing what we call dereferencing dereferencing to dereference 
So what does dereferencing mean? It means give me the value on that location. So each time I use it like this, it simply means, can I see the value? It's like I'm, I'm looking through the keyhole on the door to see what is inside right there. So that's what I'm doing right here. This is supposed to give me a 20. I'm not accessing it using B, right? I'm accessing it using A. Let's try this out. And so let me clear this. I have to recompile, of course, and then run that point. You can see the value of B is 20. So it's accessible, which means I can change the value of B via this A, right? So I can do that. Let me change it after this line right here. Asterisk A on that location. Now put a value of 45. And then we can we can yank this and put it right here and now let's see what is on this location right here by using this let me put this right here and use b and see what is inside b so let me to see whether we changed the value of b by doing this right here okay and then clear this recompile run that you can see now the value of b is 45 the value of b is 45 right here we successfully changed that value by using our pointer here we dereferenced it and then i reassigned it you could say int asterisk and then space a this is also valid so it depends on your preference right here we read it backwards a is a pointer to an integer both of these syntax are valid I'm sure this has been helpful. If you find the video helpful, you can leave a like, you can comment, you can also consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Cheers.